Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Alice and today I am going to be showing you the sketchbook that I just completed yesterday. So this is a handbook journal company sketchbook and I actually custom painted the cover and the back. I changed up the bookmark because my cat like stole mine and I also changed up the cover page. I do have a video on how I did this if you'd like to check it out. Um, it's held up really well and I have definitely enjoyed it. Although I do think next time I'm probably just going to keep the cover the way that it was. And this is actually my fourth completed sketchbook from this, uh, from this brand. They're all the same. This is my four. I do have sketchbook tours of all three of these if you are interested in checking those out. But this was my first one. They come in four different colors. This was originally red. So I've gone through all four of the colors and I just got myself a new one and it is blue again so we're back to the start which is quite exciting and this is what they look like when they're brand new you can see decently slim and then this is my first one which got really thick and then the one that i just completed which is a little less thick because i did a little bit less of sticking things in there and scrapbooking but yeah old versus new so super excited about that but let's stop talking about those and dive into this sketchbook so as i said i painted the cover um and i started this sketchbook in november of 2020 and i finished it yesterday so may 2021 i think i wrote i wrote 2121 wow wow oh, should we fix that right now on camera okay let me turn this into a, a zero Hopefully, I think the silver edging should help. That's so funny. This was my fastest sketchbook yet and it only took me 101 years. Okay, so now that it's been sort of fixed, um, November 2020 to May 2021, which is like the fastest I've completed a sketchbook. I know some people are really fast at completing sketchbooks, but I'm not, so. I'm pleased with myself. The first page that I do in any sketchbook is always a like date page. It really helps take off a lot of the stress of a first page to me. So basically I'll write the date that I started it and then I just leave this part blank and fill it in at the end. So that's what I did here. I think it's really cute. Then I made a little sticker page, which I ended up kind of like abandoning a little bit just because I was filling it up really quickly and I made ended up making like a sticker book for myself to put all my stickers in. So now we get to the actual art. And this is a little out of order. This is actually the first piece that I drew in here. And then a while later I came and I drew this piece, which says you drew scars you drew stars around my scars, but now I'm bleeding. There is a lot of Taylor Swift themed artwork in here. So just prepare yourself for that. But I think this is pretty cool. It's in acrylic gouache, but it definitely transferred to this side of the paper. But I've kind of just started to be okay and accept that in my sketchbooks because it's kind of part of, part of the beauty of a sketchbook in a way. So here we just have some swatches. This was used as like a texture for like a photo, my cat's names and these are some little doodles and sketches uh, using colored pencil with some watercolor, watercolor pencil, um, kind of like this overlapping snake plant. Um, I quite like this little drawing, watercolor pencil again. I really enjoy sketching in watercolor pencil um, because you can really easily just add some water for a little bit of a uh, extra effect. But I really quite like um, the nose and lips here. Uh, so there's that. And this was my motto for this sketchbook was good vibes only. I really wanted to fill the sketchbook with drawings of things that I love, not necessarily drawings that I love because you can't predict if you're going to love all your artwork, but I really tried to focus on drawing things and drawing art that made me happy and reflected the things that made me happy in real life. So a lot of plants and crystals and people. Um, so this is just some more little sketches. I started writing some things that I like in my style that I want to emphasize. I got a spirograph. This was like the only time I used it, but I want to use it in art. I think it could be cool. Sticker, thank God. Um, moonshine in your eyes. And then I drew a moon eye and I, I love this. I think this is so cute. 
this is a cool page. Um, these were done at different times. This one was done in 2020, this in 2021. Um, I do a lot of like, a lot of times I'll sketch in graphite and then I'll put watercolor on top. It kind of helps to seal it. Um, but I really was working on practicing my facial anatomy. Like that's something that I worked on a lot this year, um, was continuing to work on my facial anatomy. So, um, this is a little sun. I also started to experiment with more simple drawing and getting out of my comfort zone and experimenting with things that I've always enjoyed, but have felt like aren't my territory, you know? So little page of ballpoint sketches that I was just doing, trying to get a little bit more, um, put posturing and kind of gesture gesture stuff um, that's kind of hard for me so this was a sketch of a piece that I wanted to do like a Sagittarius inspired piece I believe but I never got finished um, and this was with the graphitant pencil uh, I don't know if they were the pencils or I think they were the paints graphitant paints I think it's like liquid graphite so this is like mo the moon goddess, moon queen. I think I called it the moon goddess. And I really, I think she's so cute. Like um, I did, I got, I'm really into metallic. I love metallic. And so she has like metallic purple eyes. And yeah, I just, I like this piece. I think it's cute. Ah, oh, Taylor Swift. 2020 was just such an amazing year to be a Taylor Swift fan and I'm just so happy. So I got my uh, folklore, yeah, folklore, folklore um, vinyl in the mail. And um, this was some of the like confetti that it came with. So I decided to put some in my sketchbook. I wrote folklore evermore. Then I drew a little like Taylor Swift inspired sketch and I put not a lot going on at the moment because that bitch is a liar. Comes out with two albums and re-records Fearless, okay. So these are some peonies that I drew. I think they're so cute. This is actually, I turn into stickers. So these are uh, a sticker set in my Etsy store. And it's really pretty, I feel like in um, in real life because there's these, this metallic border around it. So I really like these. This was just um, a swatch page for some paints that I got, or I don't know if it was paints that I got or a, a watercolor set that I made. Might have been, might have been that. But uh, then I drew a little with like a little white, different kind of like things on it, which I think is kind of cute. Maybe I'll do this, but like in a more elevated way sometime. Um, this was my original pen sketch for the Palettful Packs sketchbook that I was uh, on the cover of. It was so cool! My art was on the cover of a sketchbook. <laughs> So cool, um, but I did it in pen and then I brought it in to Photoshop and I made some green watercolor textures and then I kind of combined them. Uh, so I liked how that turned out. I don't know why, but I like randomly drew a pie and then I drew the sign pie. It wasn't on pie day. Like this would make sense if I drew it on pie day, but it wasn't. I think I just wanted cherry pie. Um, I drew this a little bit later. It's just kind of like upside. I don't know. Like I said, I was really experimenting or still am with like more simple art and kind of combining that with the more detailed stuff that I do. Um, so this was a texture page I had, or like a pattern page rather. I'd seen some really beautiful stuff on Instagram where people just filled the whole page with a pattern. And I was just like, oh, yes, I would like to do that. That sounds fun. So that's what I did. And I, I really am a fan of this page. Ooh, okay, so I really like this piece right here. So this is pretty simple, but I spent a little bit of time on the sky and there's a lot of this really pretty kind of granulation and separation effects. I used these little uh, watercolor blocks. I was actually featured in a scrawler box and these were what came with my scrawler box. If I can open them. <laughs> Why? Oh, there we go. Um, I love these. These are the Derwent Ink Tent Sticks and I use them all the time. Um, 10 out of 10, big fan of these. And that's what I used for this sky. And uh, then I just did some black ink and a teeny little moon. So like I haven't mentioned it a thousand times, but I'm mentioning it again. I stream now. I stream usually five days a week and I streamed on Christmas Eve. Um, I believe this was either Christmas Eve or Chris. I think it was Christmas Eve. Um, and I drew this little festive, festive girl with like partially green hair and a little Santa hat. It was fun. I think it was like all, I don't think it was all color pencil. I think it was like watercolor pencil and mixed media and stuff. 
this is just kind of like a little bit of a like random page. Like I drew this little sketch and then I had these two from when I first got my Cricut, which by the way, don't get a Cricut. I have a silhouette now. Do not get a Cricut. I returned it. Um, but <laughs> this was me experimenting. So I stuck those in there and just kind of made a little, little play page. More Taylor Swift themed art because I love Christmas Tree Farm. Such a cute song. Wow. Oh, I love this little spread. Plants, they make me happy. So this was kind of inspired by the Taylor Swift song Ivy. Not so much the song, just like I started drawing a lot of Ivy kind of after that album. Um, and I really like this. I like the pink and the green. And um, this was done with, I believe, gouache or acrylic gouache. I'm not sure. Um, and then these are three little watercolor, watercolor pencil succulents. These are also a sticker set in my store. Um, and I really like these. This is probably one of my favorite little sticker sets that I've made and yeah, I'm just a fan of them. This was also drawn around Christmas time. I never did anything like, I just kind of liked the contrast of this and then the page being almost completely blank here. But it's just a little poinsettia wreath. wreath. Yeah, that's the right word. <gasps> this is Space Bay. Space Bay started a whole thing. Like it's a whole thing now, but I, these, this is also a sticker on my store. It has holographic details. <laughs> Um, I make everything into stickers apparently, um, but I love Space Bay. She's so cute. She's like a floating head in space and she has all the glitter. And now I have a lot of different bays that I've drawn. Um, Mushroom Bay and Pothos Bay, all the bays. This is my Amethyst Cave. I love this piece. Um, I really like to draw crystal caves and I hadn't drawn one in a while. So I decided to draw a crystal cave. I also did this piece with masking fluid. I got this Daniel Smith masking fluid, which has like a really nice um, thin kind of point that you can uh, draw with. And um, I decided to use it to create kind of a layered watercolor piece with succulents. I think this came out pretty cool. Okay, so we have some swatch pages here. These are swatches of the new watercolor pencils that I had purchased that day. And I also got acrylic gouache. Um, I have the Holbein acrylic gouache. I absolutely love it so much. Um, just so you know, acrylic gouache is technically, it's kind of like acrylic paint. It's really just like has a different finish. Um, it's closer to acrylic paint than gouache, but it, it acts kind of like gouache, but it's not rewettable. Um, anyway, I love acrylic gouache. I'm gonna make a whole video on the differences, like acrylic gouache, regular gouache, jelly gouache. I think I'm gonna make a whole video on it, but um, this was when I first got my, um, my gouache, and oh, I really like this page. So this was something that I wrote, what is the consequence of creating what makes me happy? And this was like a big question for me in this sketchbook. I feel like I've spent so long thinking I had to be a certain way as an artist. And um, like recently I've realized that's bullshit and I can be whoever I want as an artist. I can explore whatever direction I want and I, I, can, um, I can draw the things that make me happy. And if something makes me happy to draw, then it's okay. It's okay for me to draw that. Um, so that was something that I really tried to remember is like, Art is my happy place, and that is what I'm going to keep it as, regardless of what anyone else says. That's kind of that guy. And then this, I really like. It's a bouquet of stars, and yeah, I think it's pretty cute. Okay, so this piece, I love this piece. It has gotten a little damaged just due to the fact that it's in a sketchbook, but that kind of works with the piece in itself, I feel. Um, this piece is kind of more about being, I have bipolar too, um, and just some of the mental health issues that I feel sometimes, just really feeling like I'm not real, the world isn't real, like I'm trapped in my own mind, and just kind of like falling upside down and drowning in this like world that's not real. Um, so that was kind of what this is about. I really love this piece so much. Um, it's very rare that I make art that is kind of to do with my own emotions and feelings. Um, it tends to be more of a distraction for me, things that I enjoy, um, but I am also trying to express myself more in my art when that feels appropriate and when that feels like what I need. And um, this was really helpful for me to make and I am very, like it's one of my favorite pieces in this sketchbook. So um, I think that credence to the strength of, um, you know, it is important for me sometimes to, you know, take a moment to figure out how I can put my feelings in a visual way, so. Okay, this page got really damaged and it was actually fine until like a page a little bit later where I spilled 
like not spilled water, but water, I had way too much water and it came all the way through the cre crease, but that's okay. Again, it's just kind of part about being in a sketchbook. Like these are not finished pieces. And if they were, then I, you know, should be doing them outside of sketchbook. But also I try to take photos of everything you know, pretty quickly after I make it. So I have a record. Um, but this is just a really simple moonlight scene over the water. Again, acrylic gouache. This is more kind of Taylor Swift themed artwork, but this is about the idea. So if you've heard her song, Invisible String, there's um, a line that says, what if a single thread of gold tied me to you? Um, and this is about the idea of what if that thread breaks, um, that gold thread breaks. Um, so that's kind of what that's about. I love this piece. I intentionally left this page blank because I wanted the blankness to reflect um, this page and kind of highlight this page. I didn't want anything else on there kind of distracting from it. Uh, uh, more Taylor Swift art. <laughs> uh, so Little Love Story re-recording came out and it's amazing. I love it. So had to make art, obviously. So I have the quote, we were both young when I first saw you. And then I have um, Julia essentially looking through a window and you can see like in her eye, there's a reflection of Romeo. So yeah, and more metallics, all the metallics. This is my new pens when I went to the store and I got Posca's. So then I tried them here. I always like to like test out my new pens and things in my sketchbooks. And um, this was like around Valentine's Day. I think this came out pretty cool. Um, I think I used my Cricut or Silhouette or whatever to cut this out. And then I added all this, um, I drew it and then I put this on it. Um, so yeah, more metallic also. Again, with the theme of just trying to be a little bit more personal in my artwork, this piece is, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because this one is actually probably the most personal piece in the sketchbook, but this is about trichotillomania. I have severe trichotillomania and I mostly pull hair from my legs. Those who don't know trichotillomania is like, it's a compulsion to pull out your own hair. Um, I really have a hard time talking about it, so I'm just gonna move on now, but that is what this piece is about. Um, okay, so this is like kind of a cool reflected piece. And basically what happened was I drew this and then over time, this transferred to this side of the paper. So I just went with it and like went over it with this and, and, and drew like the backwards kind of mushrooms. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. And I reversed my signature on this side. See, it's reversed. <laughs> Oh, I love this page too. I like this side better than this side because I never finished this side. This was supposed to be filled with like pen sketches um, of plants, but I just kind of didn't finish it. And I realized it's okay for me to leave unfinished artwork in my sketchbook. Like there's a lot of stuff in here that I never finished. And I was like, oh, can I finish my sketchbook until I finish these pieces? And I was like, I don't want to finish these pieces. Like I just want to start a new sketchbook. It's fine. Um, but this is a bamboo forest that I just kind of painted uh, without like any, any sketching or anything like that. I was playing Minecraft and they have cool bamboo there. Or maybe it was Animal Crossing. There's bamboo in both. Oh, this is kind of an interesting little, little picture that I like. So what I did was I sprayed the whole page with water here. And this might have been the one that ruined the other painting. Can't remember. Um, and then I took Posca's and you just press the Posca into the water. Boom, 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 boom. And it'll do this. Like they'll press up against each other. You'll get some really cool effects. It's, it's fun. It's fun. Um, and then I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. So I just kind of let it dry. But then I came back to it and I, <laughs> I didn't draw this during mermaid. You'd think I would have, but I didn't. And I drew this little, little mermaid scene. So this is a little mermaid. This is Eric's ship. This is Eric. He's on, he's really far away on the rocks. I don't really want to draw him. And these are some fish. Cool. That's a little mermaid. This, again, painting from my head, painting without any sketching. I've just been enjoying doing really loose, like, landscape scenes, kind of like the bamboo one. Um, and this is a, like, lavender field or hyacinths. I don't know. I wasn't looking at a reference. They're purple flower things. See, this is another page that I just didn't finish. Like, don't get me wrong, I really like this concept, but then I didn't like the colored pencil on top and then I felt like I had to commit to that and then I didn't wanna do all the rest and it just became a whole thing. So that's never getting finished and it's fine. Um, I've been listening to Astronaut in the Ocean a lot, so I don't know, I just drew a girl with like a giant astronaut space helmet. That's kinda cool. Um, she just has a space helmet on and then she's naked. I don't know why. And she's standing in water. I don't know why. Oh yeah, because she's an astronaut in the ocean. Duh. Okay, so the, 
I have been obsessed with sketching with like tritone pencils, rainbow pencils, all of that. So you're about to see a lot of that in here. Um, but this was sketching again with tritone pencils and I put washi tape and made a little border and I think it's cute. I hate this page and I'm gonna move on immediately. Okay, so this was again with the tritones. This girl's about to murder this dude because he cheated on her. I think this might have been slightly inspired by Nobody No Crime, but like not fully. Um, I never finished this because the proportions were off and I was bored. This is kind of a cute collage page. I drew this to make a sticker out of, like explicitly for a sticker. And then I wanted to kind of do the other pages. I didn't like... I didn't like what was on this page, so I covered it up with sketchbook paper, and then I cut out a little butterfly shape and painted that and collaged it all together. Uh, more new Poscas. I got. I also got a little obsessed with Poscas, so there's a lot of little Posca tests in here. Um, again, a little landscape. Um, this one, I think, was actually... I don't remember where this was. Maybe Garden of the Gods? I think we were... I. I don't think this was from my head, but maybe it was. Um, watercolor pencils, I believe. More rainbow and kind of tritone pencils. This is like a magic Koinor pencil um, that I got from a scrawler box. More green pages, um, just like lots of little plants and kind of leaf type shapes. I love this. This is what my probably like my favorite two pages in the sketchbook. <laughs> So I got this rainbow pencil and I love it. Although like I've already gone through most of it, but I drew this girl, which I, I love her. And then I drew these guys and I made them into stickers, but I love these. I, I just love it. And I love the rainbow pencil effect. And I just think it's so cool. Like I do all this with one pencil. I just, that makes me so stoked. 10 out of 10, please just start sketching with rainbow and like tritone pencils. Like your life will be so much better. This was also with the rainbow pencil. I love this, like big flower in her hair. Like I think all the curly hair really shows off the rainbow pencil well. More rainbow pencil sketches. Not really anything exciting on this page though. So I drew her and then I kind of wasn't really sure what else I wanted to do. So I just like painted the whole thing yellow and orange, but I think she's cute. Okay, Mermaid finally started. Now this actually wasn't completed in May. This, I went back a few pages just because I needed a page to sketch on, but this was on May 1st, and this is vacay merm because I got to leave my state for once. More little like leaves. Oh, I like this page. Um, my Patreon, we have a monthly theme that we try to kind of like um, all make art for. And during my Patreon live stream, this is what I worked on because my theme this month was supermarket because I thought that was just kind of fun to appreciate the kind of beauty of everyday items. So that's what I I did. And so this side is kind of more vegetables and the sides is fruit. And this side I gessoed first and then used watercolor on. So there's a slight difference in the way the watercolor applied. And I really enjoyed both sides. So I'm pretty pleased with, with these. Maybe I'll make them into stickers. <laughs> um, more little sketches, blueberries, mushroom, little, I don't even know what kind of plants these are, pot leaf, um, a rainbow girl, but with like watercolor pencil on top and like, I don't really like it. So this was when I was in Palm Springs, California. I did some little palm trees uh, from life and just painting with watercolor. Again, no nose pencil sketch before. And now we get to Mermaid, which is gonna take over the majority of the rest of the sketchbook. Um, so Mermaid number two is I guess gray merm is what we're calling her. She's just like black and white, um, kind of swimming up. Then mermaid number three is swamp merm. I love swamp merm. She's like one of my favorites. I feel like this is almost a redraw because I feel like I've done a piece really similar to this like a couple mermaids ago, but um, yeah, I love swamp merm. Then we have rainbow merm because rainbow pencil, right? Um, mermaid five. Um, this is mermaid four. So like, opposite pages. She doesn't really have a name. Rock Merm? Gazing Merm? I don't really know. She's just, yeah. Um, this is Rapunzel Merm. I thought it'd be fun to do, draw like a Disney girl, so I drew Rapunzel. Um, she has like gold scales, and I also drew Pascal as a fish, so. And I also watched The Lion King, so I drew a lion, and it was cool. I like The Lion King. This was Mermaid number eight. Mermaid number seven is like, it's not in my sketchbook. 
Um, this is the moon merm, and I want to make this into a like larger piece, I think, at some point, because she's carrying the moon like in her tail, and she has like this ring of planets, and I just think it's pretty cool. So I'd like to expand upon that idea. Ooh, I love this. So this one is shiny merm, mermaid number 10, and I did this with those chameleon paints that I was telling you all about, and this was the purple. So don't tell me, like, it was just weird to me how they were like, oh, the purple, like the, the flip-flop color is this color and the rest are normal. I'm like, the rest are not normal. Look at that though. And then this is Mushmerm. So these were mermaids nine and 10, little Mushmerm, so cute. She has a cup of tea. This is the sun merm because I did the moon merm. So I decided to do the sun merm. I think she's super cute. She's like sitting on the sun. She has like kind of like a star burst behind her head, um, almost like a halo. And I did uh, all like yellow and orange tritone pencils. Again, tritone, love them. Um, mermaid 12 is seaweed merm. Um, so a lot of green tritone pencils and blue. I think she's pretty cool. Um, she has seaweed earrings, which is kind of dope. This one is Sunset Merm. I don't love this one as much. Um, the anatomy wasn't great. Um, and then I moved to uh, Mermaid 14 and uh, I took a reference for this. And you can clearly see the difference between me working from a reference and me working from my head. And I feel like Aphantasia just like really benefits from working from a reference. But I drew again, little Tritone. This is Happy Merm and I love her. She's this is my favorite merm that I've done. Um, this was also from a reference. This is Daisy Merm. This was mermaid number 15. This is dedicated to one of my Patreon's grandmothers um, who passed away the day that we drew this. Her favorite flower was daisies. So we chose to do a daisy merm in honor of her. Um, one of my, did I say Patreon? It, I think I might, might have said that, but one of my Twitch like um, family. Uh, so yeah, um, that's Daisy Merm, and I love her. I think she's beautiful. Okay, I don't really love this page, but I was testing out a couple things. I got a new fountain pen that I was playing with. Um, I got watercolor ground that I was trying um, for this and this. And um, yeah, just kind of playing around with stuff. This was also playing with that fountain pen that I got, Mermaid 16, I called her Fountain Pen Merm. Um, I just drew her with a fountain pen. I didn't sketch her out beforehand. I just kind of drew with the pen. So um, the anatomy might've been a little bit better if I had done that, but that's okay. This is an idea for potentially making a sketchbook case that would hold like a sketchbook and all my supplies, but. Ooh, I like this one. This was with a new magic pencil, Koenor magic pencil that I got the other day. It's like purple and a couple other colors, but this is swimming merm. I was trying to get a little bit more perspective, be a little more um, challenging to myself. So uh, I did this. I was gonna draw something on here, but I didn't. So I did this again with the same pencil as I used for this. It's like the magic pencil um, in like purple and yellow and that. And uh, it's a kind of an ocean scene with some rocks in front. And then I added some white uh, pen, gel pen on top just for the, the ocean. And I think this is a nice little scene. Um, next to it, I wanted to play with the watercolor ground a little bit more. So I painted the whole thing with watercolor ground and then I painted it blue. Then I pasted on this watercolor paper, like trading card size piece of paper. And I painted, used watercolor pencil to create this little sunset. And then I ended up kind of carrying it out into the, um, the rest of the painting. And I used a little bit of washi tape just to keep it stuck down. It's not, it doesn't necessarily match, but it kind of pulls from the colors of the, the sun. So I think it's kind of an interesting, interesting uh, idea. And I'd like to maybe do this, this again, where you have one painting kind of stuck on, but they're the same kind of thing. I don't know. Oh, this is all my new tritone pencils because I bought some more because the ones that I had were all like landscape. So I didn't really have a whole lot of like purples and pinks. So I'm super stoked. I have those now. And then I drew Mermaid 18, which is Tropical Merm, and I love her. She's so cute. She's in a little hammock, and she's got a coconut bra, and she's got this little sun hat, and it's, I'm tr I tried to get this effect like it was dappling her face. I think I maybe did. Um, and then I just put all of these, like, monstera leaves, more stylized, like, in the background. So I think she's really cute. And that, my friends, 
is the last page. In a similar note to my first page where I like to start it off like this, I like to end with the end or something like that. I don't think it's like that consistently in all my sketchbooks, but it's in a decent few and I'd like to continue it on. Um, so I just wrote the end, did some washi tape, little background, and that's the end. Thank you so much for watching my sketchbook tour. I hope that you liked it. If you would like to check out any of my other sketchbook tours, I do have links in the description box below, um, as well as all my socials, my Twitch, my Etsy, all of that. If you wanna, if you're sick of hearing about stickers and you wanna go look at them. If you made it to the end of the video, congratulations. I can't believe that you did it. So comment sketchbook bay in the comments if you made it to the end, and then I, I will see who, who stuck it out. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.